All right, guys, well, I'm back today with a pretty slick snub nose 22 long rifle revolver from Taurus. This particular model is the 942, and it is an eight shot cylinder with a two inch barrel. It comes in stainless and blued, and the MSRP is right around $400. Now, this is on the high value and budget side of revolvers, and you might say $400 is a slightly elevated price for a Taurus, especially a 22. But when you consider some of the other options like the Smith and Ruger climb well above, maybe even $200 dollars more than this revolver you can see the value in something like this especially with the eight shot cylinder there are a wide variety of reasons why you might want a revolver like this but before we dig into the specs and features and potential uses i want to give a huge shout out to american pawn and gun located in monroe north carolina for donating this firearm to the channel it was actually a request of mine to try this out because i feel like there is a very specific niche in role for this firearm especially in the high value and budget community where people are looking to get something either for range use or to defend their life with but don't have $600 to spend on a revolver. Now, American Pawn and Gun, located in Monroe, has a great owner named Greg. I actually saw him talk somebody out of buying a firearm from his shop because it wouldn't fit their needs. Told them to come back later because he would have some more in stock. He actually turned down a sale because his integrity wouldn't allow him to sell something to someone who really didn't need it. He really wants to help you out with your first time gun purchases. So if you happen to be in Monroe, North Carolina, tell him 704 Tactical sent you over and he'll hook you up with some deals. But now let's talk about the specs and features of this revolver and why you might want to pick one up. This particular version is actually the stainless model. And again, it is the eight round cylinder. You can see it really packs them in tightly, and I'm glad they included eight rounds. Again, some of these other 22 long rifle revolvers or 22 mag revolvers I'm seeing kind of lack in the round capacity, and that's rather frustrating, but this one holds eight rounds, which I feel like is respectable, especially for a compact snub nose revolver. It's got a two inch barrel with a front ramp sight with anti-glare serrations cut in and an adjustable rear sight. I believe you can adjust it for windage right here with this screw, and maybe if it becomes damaged, replace it a little bit easier than a fixed sight. Now this one doesn't have a fully extended hammer. It's almost a bobbed hammer, but it does have some nice texturing right here. You can see that kind of patterning on the hammer. I believe this lends itself to a little bit easier to be concealed to carry or used for personal defense so it doesn't snag on anything. I would like to see this revolver though with a completely enclosed hammer as a secondary option. The grips on this guy are reasonably small compared to other revolvers. Your pinky hangs off, but you get a good hold. It's got very nice texturing on the sides, the back strap, and it is smooth on the front strap. Your hand blends with the gun rather nicely, and it is very ergonomic in feel. It's got a good index point right here for your trigger finger up at the front, and the overall experience shooting this revolver is a joy. To release the cylinder, the cylinder latch has a nice scoop with texturing in here, and everything works as it should with this revolver, and the user interface is rather pleasant, especially with all the ergonomic features, nice texturing on the hammer and cylinder release, and the sights themselves seem fairly adequate to engage your target. They're nothing special, but they do the job well, and I found that it was no problem hitting what I was aiming at with this set of sights. I'm going to load this guy up with snap caps, so let's talk about that trigger. So I've got this loaded up with Tipman snap caps because I don't want to damage the firing pin. And we will show you guys the trigger. It is a double single action gun and it actually has a very smooth and reasonable pull weight on that double action. In fact, comparing this with the Smith, I like the double action trigger pull on this much better than that Smith 351 PD or the 22 mag version of the Smith version of this gun. Now the single action mode is really nice. You have such a crisp and clean break, but it is not overly light. This works well and I do enjoy the trigger on this gun. I feel like it is a great addition to this handgun, especially at this high value and budget price. 
Now let's talk about reliability and function down at the range because despite what a lot of people think, revolvers can have issues. In fact, I recently did a review on a revolver, a Rock Island Armory 38, that would have light primer strikes all the time and bind up with certain ammo. It was since resolved and it is working good now, but that is just to show you guys revolvers can have issues, but this one did not. 100% functional with a wide variety of ammunition, and most that I shot through it was bulk pack Federal, Winchester, and Remington, but I also shot some CCI mini mags and it worked flawlessly. This thing works great and I haven't cleaned it yet and the action is still incredibly smooth. I did try to knock off some of the powder burns from the front, but you can see I really do need to go back and clean this, especially if you're going to be relying on it. It's nice to have a clean gun. Now I bring that up relying on it and that's a controversial topic for 22. I always recommend carrying something other than a 22. In fact, the smallest caliber I ever carry for personal defense is 32 ACP and a pocket gun, but I always like to carry a nine millimeter at the least if I can inside the waistband. But everybody can always carry a larger caliber and some people are more recoil sensitive. And if you are going to carry a 22 for personal defense, a revolver seems like a really good option because if you do have a misfire with a cartridge, you can simply pull the trigger and fire the next round. No need to clear a jam, rack the slide, or drop a mag. This is just pull and go, which makes it a perfect option for a newer shooter who's getting in the firearms or somebody who's incredibly recoil sensitive. This has a heavier uh, double action pull, so you're not accidentally gonna pull the trigger. It's incredibly ergonomic, and the fact that this absolutely has no recoil makes it really good for first time shooters or recoil sensitive shooters, and this is going to be inherently more reliable than a semi-auto 22, because again, the nature of the beast with a gun like this allows you to maybe have still those same amount of misfires, but just pull the trigger to get to the next round instead of clearing out a malfunction. And that what makes it more reliable in my opinion in a personal defense scenario, but you are welcome to leave your suggestions and comments in the comments section below. So I hope this gives you a high value option to potentially defend your life with if you're highly recoil sensitive or at the least have a really awesome range or camp gun and just have a blast down at the range. I absolutely love just rattling off eight shots at 22 long rifle with this revolver. It's a joy to shoot. It's easy to hit your target. And again, just such a fun, great gun. And I'm gonna give a huge shout out to American Pawn and Gun again in Monroe, North Carolina for donating this to the channel. You'll be seeing a lot more of this gun on the channel because it is such a joy to shoot. Thanks for watching, guys. Have a good one.